on Thursday, Helene decided she wanted to come to Florida and she wanted to pass over my county. Okay, now we did get hit, but not the way that Tallahassee, um, Citrus, the Citrus area, um, oh my goodness. And then she went up and she kind of kissed, um, Atlanta and then went up. To the Carolinas, okay. But let me just tell you how Miss Helene passed over our county. She was coming directly towards Hernando County. There was no reason or no way that we can get out of that area. Just, just get out of her way, okay. But we're into a category of four. And in the category of four guys, <laughs> she picked up speed and she tore things up, which is not typical if we get a hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico. Usually in the Gulf of Mexico, it usually passes over Tampa. Tampa was kind of slow, but it was more like accumulating water, like water surges. But if you know t certain areas in Tampa, you know they automatically flood on a regular day. On Even when we have thunderstorms and things of that sort, you know certain parts of Tampa will be underwater, okay? All these people that's moving to Tampa or in Florida, I don't know what these realtors are telling you guys, but you need to speak to the local people in Tampa or in Florida um, and she kind of tore things up because she was huge okay so guys let me just say this we're going to get into the fall because honey I wanted to start the fall off by September the 15th this is the end of September and we're going into October on Tuesday um or probably when you see this this recording or this video, we probably already in October. But um, just letting you know, guys, thank you for the prayers. We are safe. We're still dealing with water surges. People are still um, trying to get out of water. <laughs> we still, in certain areas, there's no electricity. Thank God we had electricity. We had um, no water in our area. We were in, I'm in section C, um, which is for the evacuation areas. I'm in C. A had to basically evacuate, period. They had to evacuate because they're right there by the Gulf of Mexico. Okay. Um, if you know where I'm at, I live in Spring Hill, which is in Hernando County. We have some parts of Spring Hill in Pasco County, and we actually, you know, some people got away with it, but some people did not. So we're going to lift up the prayers for those families that lost their homes and still sitting in water because, hey, they really didn't have anything to do. After the storm passes, then the water started surging. I mean, people were like, oh, yeah, I'm safe. And realize all of a sudden water started coming into their homes. Come on, guys. Yeah, that is that is bad. But if you're moving to Tampa or you're moving to Florida, period, you're in a flood zone, you're in a flood zone. There's no way around it. But think about how expensive these houses are getting in Florida that you really need to ask those questions zone and whatever the case may be honey let me just tell you you need to get flood insurance okay you need to get in flood insurance okay guys so like yeah okay so other than that uh welcome to my channel you are here with Zenovia of decor and I am basically working on my fall decor and today I'm going to venture into some of these stores so um 
previously previously I actually went into Ross and I looked at some things so just showing you some of the things that I saw on Ross um, some areas that you probably miss when you actually go into Ross um, there are some areas that's in Ross that um, it's kind of like clearance area and you can find a lot of good things there I am getting ready to go into Home Goods. I'm going to take you in with me so you can see um, what's going on for the fall. Um, I think some stores are actually going into Christmas now. But uh, we're going to see if we can get some um, uh, clearance items. Okay. And hopefully we will. Um, hopefully I can walk out of the store with something that I haven't seen in the past few years. When they actually bring out fall stuff, I'm realizing that these stores are actually being, they are bringing out the same stuff every year, which is not good. It's not good at all. Um, sorry about the noise. I have a lot of um, texts coming in while I'm actually video taping. Okay? So, guys, let's just go and let's see what we're going to do today. And I'm going to explain everything. Um, as I go, okay, but thank you for the prayers again, and um, <laughs> I just can't say anything else but thank God. Okay, so we're going to get started. The first thing I'm going to do is put on the table runner. And as you can see, it has fall leaves. And here is my first table protector. Now these are from Home Goods. And then there's my... wood components that I love to put in before I put in my flower arrangement okay so here's my flower arrangement you know I love the tall vases and I'm going to show you how I have different flowers so they're not the same okay so this one is not the same as the first one that I saw but the yellow matches and I got bo both of those from Hobby Lobby and so I'm going to add some more sticks to my arrangements because I want my arrangement to be a little taller so I got these sticks from again Hobby Lobby you can also find them at Walmart as well okay I'm getting out the way okay so next is my acorns I love putting acorns on my table so these are the ones that I actually use during Christmas time but I will be putting these on here so that they could bring out the wood element now here's my chargers as you can see they're orange 
my husband loved these charges so I'm going to put those on top of the gold display and here's some more orange chargers they are square and I got these from Val's basket in Tampa Florida and now you can see I need my napkins okay so these napkins I got from the home store all right and again this is my way to show you how I actually put my napkins together and those napkin holders as well was from the home store so now I'm gonna put the gold charges down okay and here are my pumpkins you can pick these up at Ross I did see some in Walmart as well okay and these are my champagne glasses as you can see they have a yellow tint to them and I'm also going to use them with my silver champagne glasses okay so here we are where I got these gold leaves from again Hobby Lobby and I got them on sale last year when they were discounting Christmas items and I also got picks so these again was from Hobby Lobby and I actually got like three branches and I actually cut them up so that I can uh, spread them out among the table I think it looks good with the gold so that is the, what I'm going to be using this year as you can see guys I don't have much orange on my table and I'm trying to move away from that orange and red but I do have orange um, but I decided I'm going to do a little bit of each okay not a lot of that those orange leaves those really strong orange and yellow leaves that everyone gets I'm going to go in a different direction now. Okay, so this is the reveal, guys.